mouth a lot of the time. Takes me back to when we lived in Spain. The wonderful Alistair Campbell. Nine o'clock's just about right. I think so, Alistair. I think it's quite a good time. We'll do nine till ten. Welcome back. I passed on the message. Yes. Thank you, Davy. Very good of you. We'll see what's what there. So there we go. Now, um, who else have we got here? Right, now tonight I want to know from you how you're getting on with COVID, with lockdown, if you're getting by okay, all that sort of stuff. So do tell us. Spill the beans. Very, very important. <clears throat> McClure anytime, says Magnus. Magnus, thank you. We might do little pop-ups, you know, early evening. They used to be very popular with the youngsters. You pop on about five o'clock, six o'clock, and there's quite a following of young people as well. But it's important that you all tell everybody, and it's important that everybody subscribes and we get we can move on and get the numbers up. Yeah. Getting on to great except caught and lost. Two salmon fishing in the river air today. Of course, is this the, when's the salmon season? When does it start? Tony says, can you say hello to Mrs. Mac? She's got a sore back. Not guilty. Nothing to do with me. Poor Mrs. Mac. I think she does too much housework. Maybe you could do a bit more housework, Tony, and take the load of Mrs. Mac's back. That would be the best plan. Uh, and maybe she's sitting at, an, at a funny angle. Why do we call it a funny angle when there's nothing funny about it? Alistair Campbell says, I practice social distancing, but I've noticed less fear. Yeah, well, I think since the schools went back and they were told to just get on with it because apparently all the schools and the wonderful teachers have spent a long time measuring up classrooms, putting everything two metres apart, taping off areas, um, getting all the cleaning right, having to clean down all the tables and chairs between classes. They've done that. And then the government said, just get the kids back. Never mind about anything. And, you know, I mean, what's that all about? I reckon we're heading back to lockdown next week or the week after, says Paul Acos. Tell us, Paul, what makes you say that? I'm interested in what makes you say that. Is that you back up in business with the stream, Scotty? I'm just back from St. Andrews. I've not been in 20 years. Lovely place. I remember you in Lanarkshire years ago when you met up with a mutual friend. Absolutely, Andrew. Met up with a top man and uh, a top engineer, uh, dare I say, fantastic man. You tell him I'm asking for him. I love St. Andrews. I love the beach. And I saw, did Andrew see the report tonight on the news about people are now dropping masks and um, wipes on the beach and things? Guys, always please take your litter away because that adds to the risk. There's no magic fairies that come and clean it up. A lot of that stuff doesn't biodegrade easily, especially things like rubber gloves and wet wipes and all that kind of stuff. So please, 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 I beg of you, if you're out and about, take your litter home, take a bag with you and fill it with all your litter. Say, right, have we tied it up before we go? Because it's your planet as well. There's no magical authority. There are wonderful people that do do their best to clean the place. But think about them. Same with the motorway. These poor people out risking their lives because there are idiot drivers on motorways. And these people risk their lives just because you've thrown a bit of litter out your car, a nappy or something. Stop. So there we go. Um, that's what I say. 
Anyway.